Hello, I'm James Welsh. And I'm Robert Welsh. And this is your weekly reminder that we are not the same person. But we don't... We're not angry if you think we I are. I don't mind you. I don't mind it anymore. Be you. So I'm... I'm... Robert Welsh. And I'm James Welsh. No, we've done not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited. Me too. I'm really excited. I now listen. I've never had come my, here. And listen. Come, <laughs> come listen. I've never had my um, a fortune told. Mm. You? I have. I went to go and see a medium um a while back, like yeah. maybe four years back now, and I do have the recording of it I on a cassette it. tape. And I listened to it maybe two months ago, and everything she said that sounded irrelevant at the time has happened and was extremely relevant. She was like, I see you in a room with a purple curtain. And a sign that always breaks. And I was like, I don't know what you mean. That doesn't make sense to me. (laughs) No, but we are very um, strong believers in... I don't know, what do you call it? Tarot reading, palmistry, readings of any sorts, connecting to the other side. Eyes, yeah. spiritual, everything. We mm. we believe in when people alien ask if abductions. we're religious. <laughs> alien abductions. <laughs> Ancient aliens. <laughs> when people ask if we're religious, we're like, no, no, but we believe in things. Things. Stuff. Things and stuff. Um put Please. that here. Put yeah, that put here. the what we believe in here. So we are we have a guest on today. This is our first ever... Marcus doesn't count. Ignorant bitch. No. This is our first ever guest on our channel. It is. It's our first ever guest on the Twint channel. Can you believe? Yes. So we have Geraldine, who is a tarot card reader, and she is reading our cards today. Ooh. (laughs) I'm nervous. I'm sweating here, here, and here. Mm. I'm fine. Um, I'm pretty chill. I don't know why I'm nervous. Mm. I I don't... I I mean, she's obviously not going to be like... Your house. You have ten days. <laughs> yeah, unplug those mm. lights because there will be a fire. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't step in water for the next day. I know it's not going to be like that. No, but no, no. You never know. You just don't know. I think there's an expectation of when people do these things of um, you. You imagine a, a a tarot deck. Marcus here. You see the skeleton. You see like that tower that's on fire and that man's hanging off it. And you that know, guy's you see, upside down. He's upside down for no reason. No one asked him to be upside down. You and you think of yourself. all these negative things, but really, it's it's quite interesting when you get mm, into it. Mm, and you know, mm. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, it's, you're almost Calm scared down. they're going to tell you about yourself. Yeah, like don't tell me about myself. Oh, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> But before we get into it, you can find all of Geraldine's info in the description box and as a pinned comment as well. We will do that. We will do that. And if we don't do that, remind us. Remind us and we'll do it. With love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we are now with Geraldine. We're so excited. We were just saying, I've never had this experience before. James has. Mm-hmm. So I will be going first today. Yes. But we'll get to that later. Geraldine, thank you so much for being here. We thank are so excited. Thank you. Oh, thank oh, you. Cool. Let's just keep saying thank you to each other. Yeah. <laughs> So, can you explain to us um, what it is you do, how you do it, how long you've been doing it? Tell us about yourself. Tell us about yourself, yeah. (laughs) Well, I call myself a tarot advisor because I don't use tarot. You know, technically tarot is not meant to read your fortune or tell you when you're going to die and stuff like that. (laughs) What it does, what it does is actually a guidance system to help you gain clarity, to give you certain facts that maybe you have missed about certain Mm. decisions you want to make. So it can help you make better decisions for yourself. I've been doing this for a while now, especially tarot. I I mean, I picked up my first tarot deck when I was in my primary school. I found a deck for tarot cards. Yeah. And I was always very attracted to it. You know, I might not know what it means then. I mean, I was primary school, I was seven. (laughs) But I always find it very interesting, you know. So during my secondary school years, I started to mess around with it a little bit more. I understood what the cards mean. But the the turning point really, really came when um, I myself had um, sort of a mental breakdown. I was Mm. seeing psychiatrists, I was seeing my therapist, and... There's something in me that feels that, you know, there must be something I can do to help myself, you know, mm. besides 
besides going to my therapist and taking medications and things like yeah. that, there must be something I can do, right, to help mm. myself. So I started um, using my own tarot deck to help me in situations, to give me more clarity, especially mm. when things are tough. Yeah. And then I picked up Reiki, Reiki healing, ah, which yeah, is that energy yeah. healing. Mm -hmm. So to help balance myself. And Amazing. to tell you the truth, um, within three years, from the start to the end of my therapy, it's actually just three years. So I've oh, helped myself amazing. to finish it in three years. And this is the same kind of help, same kind of support I want to offer mm. to people. Because especially in Singapore, mental health still has a lot of stigma, mm. depression, anxiety, mm. and whatnot. I want to break free from that. Yes. There's nothing wrong about it. Yeah. You know, I mean, our body falls sick. What makes you think that your mind wouldn't fall sick? Right. Right. Yes, exactly. It's, it's so funny you say that when people talk about, I still very much now, and I think in England as well, it's very much a taboo to speak about depression, anxiety, all this other stuff. Or on the other side, people use the words very loosely, like, oh, I, such anxiety today, mm. or, you know, all this stuff. It, it's very um, played down. It's almost. played down a lot. So it's, mm. yeah, it's funny you say that because it's very true. Mm. It's so true. Mm. Mm. And um, I specifically support a lot of LGBTQ family. Mm. I specifically do that because Singapore is still a very much traditional country. Right. Yeah. And it's very difficult for people to come out of the closet in right. fear of social stigma, um, career, family even. So mm. I want my space to be a safe space yeah. for my LGBTQ family to be able to reach out. You know, when they need some clarity, you know, mm. I have people talking to me about their transition journey, yeah. they are, you know, about to transition from male mm. to female and things like that. And that's why I do what I do, because I want to be able to offer people the support I never had. Oh, Thank you're you. amazing. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. So I want to ask you. a few questions about what you do in terms mm. of some like, um, what's the word, like preconceived conceptions or stereotypes. Mm. And I think some people look at things like fortune telling ooh. and they're like, ooh, <laughs> um, the devil, <laughs> you know, and things like that. And you shouldn't be able to help with these things because it's it's um, mm. otherworldly. Yeah, it's like ungodly almost, yeah. you know. What do you say to, to things like that? Well, I mean, I can explain it through science even, you know, oh. for, for people who are saying that, oh, this is the devil and stuff like that. <laughs> yes, yeah. I mean, when we were in school, in physics, we studied that everything is energy, right? Mm. You know, and that energy cannot be destroyed. It can mm. only change form. So, yeah. which means that whenever I'm reading, I'm actually reading energy. Because oh, energy is all around. Yeah. Mm, so that's okay. technically science in that perspective. Mm -hmm. yeah. But of course, there's this spiritual element to it. Mm -hmm. You know, for people who are a little bit more sensitive or people who have their clairs developed, their mm -hmm. psychic gifts developed. Mm -hmm. So I was very fortunate that um, I developed my clairs slightly earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually didn't know about that. I only found out like recently that my grandfather was a healer. Oh, I never cool. knew that. Yeah. yeah. And I never knew that. And he was the healer that heals people for free in oh, the village. You know, yeah. whenever people are sick or, you know, they're unwell, mm -hmm. they will always go to my grandfather. I never knew about that because I've never met him. You know, right. he was, he, he passed on b before I was born. And no. Knowing all this, I understood why um, my gifts were developed mm -hmm. since young. Mm -hmm. You know, I tend to feel a lot. And what people always call empaths, right? Mm -hmm. yes. we, feel, we feel emotions and we feel energy. Mm -hmm. And this is um, one of my clairs. I feel a lot and I seem to just know things. And mm -hmm. that's scary sometimes when you're in a relationship. 
Oh, you yeah. seem oh to know God. whenever your partner's lying. Mm. Oh. And I'm pretty good at that. That's a gift. Ah. <laughs> That's a very good gift yeah. that I think everybody should try to have. Yeah. 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 One of the biggest <clears throat> misconceptions that people have about tarot is, oh, you must have sold your soul to the devil right. to have this yeah. kind of gift. Mm. Logically speaking, do you think the devil needs your soul? Right, I'm sure <laughs> Who do you he has. Think you are? <laughs> Who do you Can think you, you are? My soul you is like, very you know, important. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's just very strange that mm. people think that. Yeah. And what makes you think that it's not from the angels? Yeah. Why do right. you naturally think that it's, it's the devil? Right. You have guardian angels around you mm. to guide you. So what makes you think that these messages are not from your guardian angels? Yeah, very true. Yes. Why was it from very the true. devil? That's Never very, that. yeah. And it's so weird because some people use religion to explain things that they can't explain. And they decide whether it's a negative or a positive part of, of that religion mm. or that belief system. Um, I find it very weird that I've chosen that to be... A bad I thing. I guess because it's seen as like witchcraft. Some people see it as witchcraft. Or mm. de- was it Devina- divination? Divinations. Divinations. Yeah, things like, yes. you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, oh, you were going to ask a question. I've got it now. Let's oh. get into it. Oh, no. We were going to ask you, actually. Okay. Have you ever <laughs> read, done a reading for someone and they've been like... That's not true. That's, That's not right. Because I, it's not what they wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah. I always tell my client, the universe will always tell you what you need to know. Mm. And it might not necessarily be what you want to know. Mm, yeah. That's the that's the main thing. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of times we seek answers. For example, um, when am I going to get into a relationship or things like when am I going to get married? Mm. But then all the cards that comes out is actually about self-love. It's actually about stability. Um. You know, it's really about you building yourself first mm. right. before you start a family. Yeah. Mm. That's the thing. So everyone tries to find an easy way, right? So instead of self improvement mm. to become happy themselves, they're like, they just want to go just straight tell to me that. when yeah. I'm going to be married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So interesting. The, the thing about tarot, it's always about self improvement. Yeah. It's always about loving yourself and accepting yourself. Yeah. 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 You know, and being a better version of yourself and not require another person to make you better. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, that's the thing. I love how the conversation um, about <laughs> mental health, because even though we we love this, mm. we love like the whole, you know, world of, of this kind of stuff, but I've never seen it as... Um, self improvement or like to, to help you, you know, with your mental health, but it makes so much sense mm. like it, it's honestly like the the lady that i went to see some years ago the things that she was saying to me like literally changed my work journey that day like it changed like i honestly do think it changed the course of my life that day but never once did i see it as any kind of self help mm. when it really is it really mm. is like mm. getting not answers but um, guidance, I guess, isn't it? To help improve like your Helping your you to yeah. make your decision. Yes, yeah. Giving you the facts and the information so you mm. know what is a better path to go for you. Mm. Not what other people are saying, not what your aunt say, not what your mother says, mm. but what is good for you. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Go oh, on then. We, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so, I'll, I'll like, get semi out of frame. I'm, I'm like nervous, <laughs> but also I'm not nervous because I, tr- I trust it and I know it's a very nice process. So I'm just... But like you said, you're not going to be like, yeah, you're going to die tomorrow. Yeah, so. look out for cars. <laughs> no. <laughs> the no. number six. I would never say that. <laughs> yeah. Before we start, what is one area of your life that you have concerns about? Hmm, that's difficult to say. Because there's so many. Because there's so many. <laughs> no, I feel like certain, like different things would like cause me stress if that makes sense. Mm. So I should, I, you know what? We just we discussed this ages and I should have really thought about it. Mm. Um, <laughs> you should. Have. I'm, uh, let's maybe focus on work because it does um, stress me out to a point where sometimes I'm like, okay, I need to figure out stuff. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Yeah. So okay. So if that's the case, we should ask the cards, what should Robert knows okay. regarding about about his work for the year? Yeah, okay, cool. I think that would be good yeah. to, you know, give yeah. you some foresight about yeah. what's coming. 
That would be perfect. Is that okay? <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the cards. Amazing. Okay? So, these Ooh, are my tarot yeah. cards. I will be using some oracle cards as well. Cool. Oh, nice. So, this okay. is my tarot. This is your so. own? Like, you've made this? No, I didn't. I mean, oh, we okay. bought... There, there are many, many um, good tarot uh, mm. makers, mm. tarot card makers around. Um, Red Lee Valentine is one great one that I like to use mm. because his cards and his messages are a lot kinder. Mm -hmm. So at least you are able to guide your guide my clients in a very yeah. kinder way yeah. rather than the traditional tarot where death, towel, you know, yeah, yeah. things falling yeah. apart. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> I like using his uh, Guardian Angel Tarot and uh, the Angel Wisdom Tarot because right. it's kinder. Yeah. It's still the truth. Yes. But it's kind of. Oh, that's right? always good. So, okay. <laughs> our first card we are going to pick is I'm going to do the past, present, future spread. Okay. So, the past is not like 20 years ago kind of thing. It's not right. that. It's how the past have influenced your present. Okay, mm. cool. Okay. So, then we will pick. So, up. I don't know, I'm so nervous. You calm down. I know, present I card. <laughs> and then we will pick a future card. Okay. In my usual fashion, I will also pick a theme card, okay. a theme of the reading. So you, okay, cool. even if you forget everything that I say, <laughs> I want you to remember the theme card, yeah. okay? Okay, cool. So the first card we got is actually the Six of Water. Okay. Ooh. So this is for the past position, right? Okay. So Six of um, Water in tarot means emotions, means um, intuition. Right. You know, it means anything like creativity even because it requires emotions, right? Right. So what does sticks of um, water means for you? In the past, it in the past card, it actually means you, to a certain extent, um, whatever you're doing now was affected, um, was influenced by your childhood, about the things you like, about the things that you want to do that yeah. you never did try to do because of social stigma, because of even friends or family's disapproval. Okay. A lot of the way you are right now is because you're starting to embrace who you are. Okay. You're starting to open up and accept who you are. Yeah. You know, there are many people who live their lives without fully accepting who they are. Mm. So you have started your own journey. You have started to embrace your inner child, allow yourself to be you. Nice. You know, I've, I have a lot of friends who, since they are young, they already knew that they were gay, but they couldn't right. be gay. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course. They, yeah. They couldn't embrace it. Yeah. And right now, a lot of them are starting to embrace this part of them. And now, this is you. You are starting to embrace different parts of you, mm -hmm. different queer sides, different um, unique side of you that makes you you. You're starting you're, you're started to realize that it's nothing wrong. Mm. It's okay. Mm. It's okay to be this crazy, this insane, or this <laughs> loud, or this fun. It doesn't mm. matter. Yeah. You are just you. And you're mm. starting to embrace that, mm -hmm. which, is, which is a very good thing, yeah. okay? So the next card we got for your present is actually the Knight of Earth. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Earth. What is Earth cards about? Earth cards is about the practical stuff in life. Okay. Career, money, mm -hmm. um, stability, mm -hmm. right? So the Knight is actually a rather good card. It's about being able to take chances moving forward. But the thing about the Knight is this. The Knight is not yet the king. So, a king being the king of the state, the king of the country, they have to look at the bigger picture. They have to balance things, right? right. They have to compromise. But the thing about the knight is this. They always charge out to battle. Mm. And they don't see bigger pictures. So, what it means for you is this. <laughs> Think twice. Okay. Think properly yeah. before you decide to do anything concerns your work. <laughs> Make sure you have your plan planned out. Okay. You know, yeah. you have a timeline, you have a decision, you have a pros and cons even. Yeah. Make sure, do not just jump straight into it because it looks good and it looks shiny. Okay. <laughs> you know, it looks sparkly. Okay, think, cool. think before you act yeah. and plan it out. Okay. Okay, it is moving forward, yeah. but you want to move forward in a good way. Yeah. 
Okay. You know, you do not want to move forward and it creates additional stress for right, yourself. Right, right. Yeah. Right? So this is telling you that you need to ground, you need to plan. Okay. Whatever decisions you want to do, make sure you planned it out well. Okay. Before you do it. Okay. okay? That's very good. So advice. now. Okay. <laughs> now it's the future card. Ooh. Okay. So this is the page of water. Oh, so another water card. Yeah. So it's another emotional or creative card. This is telling you, you are going to get new creative opportunities. Yes. You know, you're, <laughs> you're, you're going to have a lot more new creative opportunities yeah. coming up. Yeah. Uh, opportunities that allow you to really work and be creative about it and not just boring content, okay. creative content, nice. things that you are excited yeah. about doing. Uh so this this coming year, you know, for your career looks good. It's just asking you to not jump into things, okay. plan. It's telling you that there are a lot of opportunities that are going to come up for you. And it's not those boring opportunities. Okay. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be creative. Okay. So it's going to be nice for you. Perfect. Okay. So the theme of the Ooh. reading for you, it's another water cut. Ooh. So it's ah. eight of water. <laughs> another emotion, another creative. But this is a card that tells you it's time to move on. <gasps> Certain things that you're doing that doesn't serve you good anymore, that creates too much stress, too excessive, it's not necessary, let them go. Okay. Stop doing them. Okay. You know, change your course a little bit. Okay. You know, move, move from that okay. to a place that, you know, the things you do do not will, will not cause you too much stress. Right. You know, I personally think a little amount of pressure is good. Yeah. But excessive is not great. Right. So really yeah. look through your business plan. Okay. The type of content you're doing. Yeah. Do they still bring you joy and happiness? Some of them. Mm. You no know, different kinds of things. Mm. The things you choose to do for work, do they still bring you that joy? If it doesn't, move on, do something else. Remember the new opportunities that are going to yeah. come? Okay. So do that. Okay. You know, it's time to change it up a little bit. Okay. Mm. For yourself. <laughs> they link. Mm. Okay. They link, they link very so well. well. Right? Mm. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an oracle card for you. Okay. To guide you. Okay. So. Wow. Okay. Mm. The card that you got is a card called unlikely. Ooh. Okay. So what I'm sensing is 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 this, you know, you what I'm sensing is this for you. Um there seemed to be an a question within you that you wanna ask, but you're not asking me. So the universe is actually <laughs> answering you that the answer that you're gonna get is actually unlikely. Okay. I'm not sure what question you actually have for me, but that's the universe answer for okay. you. Do you have a question? Uh, that I'm no, not sure. I, I, when I was thinking of something to ask, there were a few things in flashing in my, in my head and I couldn't quite get them hmm. out. What's the first thing? What's the first thing in this your head? This is the thing right? I don't know. When you ask me that, my mind goes blank. Mm. And I'm like, I could pick a section from every part of my life that's equally as important to each other, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. It's like my brain isn't letting me um, get it out. Mm, okay. I picked another clarification okay. card from another okay. Oracle deck. So the card that you got is actually called Manifestation. Okay. So the reason why this unlikely card is coming out is because there's a part of you that do not believe that you can do this. Okay. Mm. There's a part of you that do not feel confident enough to do this. Okay, yeah. You know, to take up new responsibility, create new work content. Yeah. There's a part of you that fears, mm. you know, because the market is changing every yeah. day. So the manifestation okay, yeah. cut is telling you this, dude, okay. you have what it okay. takes. Believe in yourself, okay? okay? Do it. That's so funny do because it, it, okay? I, I, it, is, it is sometimes like, you get to a point, and I think especially when you're a certain age, you're like, there's only so much I can do being mm. this age or being this, this um, you know, person. I should stick to what I know I'm doing. I'm doing good at this, so let me just stick to that. Yeah. So it's so, when when you say it's, yeah, that makes so much sense. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. How do you feel? I feel like that, um, just that last bit took a little bit of weight off me a little bit. I think in in my mind, maybe that was a question that was coming out. Like, how am I, how do I progress in, in something? <clears throat> Whereas when I do something, it can be something as small as trying to come up with a new concept for something, trying to jump on a new social media platform mm. where I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to put my whole <clears throat> into this because it's not for me. I shouldn't be doing it. It's for other people. Mm. So I think that's clarification that actually if I want to progress in my career, like you just said, I'm more than capable of doing that. And and I just need to get on with it. And it's so funny what you said (laughs) about double thinking about things because there's some, sometimes Mm. there's things like, it can be little things like you're offered, I don't know, a job and you're like yeah I'll do it and then it comes to the, everything you're like oh actually no I don't want to really do this don't anymore do this, yeah. and it, I, it's, it's that instant you're like yes yes and I feel like in this industry you feel like you have to keep on um, keep on top of things yes Same I'll do yes. this yes I'll do this yeah and it, it is a little bit too much and but it is that instant like we need answers now 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 and I don't give yeah. myself a chance to think about anything because again I'm trying to keep on top of what I'm doing mm all the time that it's like yes and then I you know stress myself out give myself too much to do and then, I don't it's mm-hmm. just it's just all too it's it's weird because you have different emotions about different things that contradict each other oh. <laughs> so you're in the middle like I don't know which way to go you know mm. so it's it's very that was very um what's the word enlightening enlightening and clarifying mm. that was amazing thank, oh, thank you. you no problem it's really <laughs> telling you that you You do have what it takes, but you need to slow down and plan. Do not say yes to Mm -hmm. everything. You must first ask yourself, does this align with you as a person? As 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 this creator, Mm -hmm. does it align with you? Yeah. You know? So you have to ask yourself those questions. Give yourself time to think. Do not just jump into it. Be like the king. Look right. at the bigger picture. In in the next, say, six months or one year down the road, will you still align right. with this? If you won't, then does it make sense for you to even yeah. do it now? Mm. <sighs> You're amazing. Thank uh, you. That was incredible. Yeah, no. that was so good. I'm I feel glad. so good I'm after glad. that. I thought I'd be really like, um, like, oh, oh, like, like there's things to do. What now. do I do <laughs> now? But no, I feel, I feel like calm and like I get it. I, mm. I, I get it. I thought I'd be sitting there like. What do they mean? Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I actually completely understand it. It makes so much sense. And I think that goes back to what you said. It's not fortune telling, it's advising and, and mm. yeah. Guiding. Yeah. yeah. I hate to be really boring, but I also want to ask about work as well, because I feel like it's so connected to my home life and personal life and even my Mm -hmm. health right now as well. So I'd love to, and I I can kind of link it all back to work, if that makes Mm. sense. So I'd love to ask about work in general. Okay, so I'm gonna, same thing. Yeah, we're very work people. I'm going to mm. shuffle the cards. Okay? okay, so the question I'm going to ask is the same. So what does James need to know about his career? Okay. Okay. So, okay. So I'm spreading the cards out. Okay, same thing. I'm going to pick first three cards first for past, present, and future. So the first card is for the past. Ooh. Oh. Second card is for the <laughs> present. <laughs> Mm. And third Ooh. card is for the future. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to pick a theme card for you okay. as well. Okay. Okay. So I always tell my clients this. I don't sugarcoat my reading because mm-hmm. it's not going to do you good oh, if I sugarcoat any of them. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, so let's go to the past first, okay? Mm-hmm. It seems that, that, is, that the past card that you got is the card of the renewal. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what is the renewal about? It's about you heading towards a new direction. It seems like you have made a decision to somehow shift your career goals. Mm. You do not have the same goals. You, you somehow have new goals now, new direction you want to head on to. And this is good. It's asking you to, um, in your heart, it's saying that in your heart, you know what you want to do. So ask yourself that question. It's Mm. going to be very useful for your present, and I will explain that to you in a little bit. But renewal is asking you to review 
review everything that you have done. Is it still mm. the same direction you want? Is your okay. brand going towards the same direction that you wanted? Mm. Or do you have another direction now that you want to go? You know, which is it? Why is it so important is because your present card, it's the five of water. So Ooh. it's another emotion card. It's another creative um, card. But the thing about number five in tarot is that number five always signifies some sort of a conflict. Uh, within okay. yourself so yeah. you it's telling you that you have been looking at things too negatively whenever things don't turn out the way you anticipated you think mm. that the world is gonna fall <laughs> yes, yes. Just, that's you, you think that, <laughs> that's exactly you, you. That the world is gonna crash mm. you know whenever it's just something is not going well or maybe if you made a mistake or if you said something wrong mm. you think that oh that the world is gonna end you keep focusing at all the negative things. You don't take a look at, hey, yes, this few things are negative, but look at the positive. You don't mm. look at them. You just keep looking at the bad. Yeah. You know, it's saying that you need to have a little bit more compassion for yourself. Mm. We all make mistakes. It doesn't matter if you say something wrong. If it hurts somebody, apologize sincerely you know you do not need to hold on to it and allow it to bring you down same thing career decisions that you have made mm. we all made bad career decisions or bad career choices in our lives mm. so it's okay you don't need to allow it to haunt you any further right you don't need to allow uh, allow that to happen to you mm. you know you move and you move on Okay, why I'm telling you that is because the future cut that you got is the cut of the justice. Ooh. So what is saying is here, you have a lot of all this conflict, things you want to do, things you should do, mm. things you want to try, things that you have obligation to do. Mm. So justice cut is here to affirm you this. You know what you should do. You know what is right. Mm. Trust yourself. Do not second guess yourself. Trust that you know. You know, do not second guess things like, okay, I decided this last month for my career, but is it still good? Is it good? Oh, is it good? Should I really do yeah. this? You get what, what I mean? I guess. Yeah. Do not second guess yourself. Hmm. Trust that you know what is right. Trust that you know what is just, like justice. Hmm. You know, yeah. being impartial and not like, um, you know, worried that you think uh, you, you are not doing it well, you're not doing it right. Always trust your gut. You know what is good for yourself. Okay, okay. trust that. Yeah. Okay, so the theme of your reading is actually the two of earth. Oh. So it's another practical card, you know, but your practical card is too, it's telling you this. You are juggling too many things at oh. once. <laughs> Okay, you need to start I know. bringing, you need to start bringing mm. some balance back, mm. some fun back into the things that you're doing. Mm. You know, it, it sort of gets to a stage that you're doing it, but it's not fun anymore. It doesn't bring you joy. Yeah. You have to start finding joy in the things that you're doing. Remind yourself why you started doing it in the first place. Mm. Ask yourself that question. You know, it's not. You know, every now and then we will feel bored about our career choice or the things that we are doing. But ask yourself, why did you start doing it in the first place? Yeah, It's almost like bring the love back, reunite the spark for yourself. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and rebalance. You need that balance. Yeah. So once again, do not just focus on the negative. Look at the positive side of things. Ask yourself, remember with the um, re renewal card, is it still what you want, this direction? If not, it's okay to change it. It's okay to make mistakes and try something else. Mm. Do not try to do everything at once. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Cut yourself some slack. Okay? Bring uh, some balance back to yourself. Yeah. Okay. 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 So I'm going to pull an oracle <clears throat> cut for you as well. So your oracle cut 
<laughs> your oracle card is saying no. Oh, <laughs> just in general. So, let, me get, <laughs> let me get a clarification okay. on why. Oh, okay. Oh. So, guess what? What? The oracle card you got is called love. Oh. Your clarification is called love. It's saying that, you know, all these negative thoughts and feelings that you're having is actually sabotaging every good thing in your life. You're oh. allowing it to do that. Mm. So, it's telling you, no, do not overstep your own boundary for yourself. Mm -hmm. If you set this boundary, do not allow people to overstep it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you say no, it means no. And people have to respect that. You know, you have to show yourself more love uh, and more compassion okay. in everything that you yeah. do. This is like... But generally, it's good. Yeah, I mean, th this is literally it's like reminder. confirming a lot of stuff that I've been thinking about and things that I've I've discussed with people in my life and like even my t like talk about with my manager and stuff this is literally I I go through times where I'm like I'm doing too much or am I really do I mean I'm like <laughs> can I still carry on with this you know make my money while I'm young do what I need to do you know I'm not that tired so I can do more work and you know there's so many different things so I'm not dead yet I'm not dead yet <laughs> literally like so th this is really just confirming things that I I feel like I know I have to do for not just my work but I think everything like health wise as well it's stuff I know I need to now I I feel like I have confirmed that I can do what I know I need to do if that makes sense like I I feel like I have a confirmation you know what that, you need. yeah yeah. yeah. Justice card is telling you that you know what it's right for yourself. Yeah. Do not allow that negative voice in your head to tell you mm. otherwise. Yeah. And I do, it's funny, like, the first thing you said was how I literally think if there's, like, a negative, it's, like, the end of the world. I do. <laughs> I, if something goes wrong or... Um, maybe even if it's things like if i didn't take a sponsored job that i feel like i should have done right. i'm like oh well why didn't i do that you know that, that could have been this amount of money from a product that i really liked mm -hmm. do you know i mean like i feel like i do what's the word like shoot no what's the word i beat myself up a lot about the like mm. tiny little things when it comes to work really mm. primarily um that i know i could just like chill out about okay i'm gonna yeah Yes, yes. <laughs> I know that car said no, you need but to also chill yes. Out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, okay. No, you can't do everything. Mm. Yes, you need to take a break. Yeah. Mm. I like that. That's like, oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. That That's like very clarifying for me. Very kind of like, um, oh, very um, just confirming a lot of thoughts. Yeah. A lot of thoughts. Yeah. So, ah. you know what? It's funny. I feel like because James has been doing like YouTube and social media a lot longer than I have and I feel like what you've just told us there may have been stuff that maybe James was experiencing when he first started mm. and then uh, uh, James is almost that progression of now taking on too much and doing too much more it's like you've told us both a stage off yeah <laughs> you know, of like what of we've what's going to happen and what's happened mm. already yeah. I loved that so much. Yeah. That was amazing. It's great how it's. Oh, I'm like... glad it resonates with yeah, you. Yeah, it really does. It really does. And that's the thing, is it like really resonates. Like you said, it's not like reading your fortune, it's not telling right. you what's going to mm -hmm. happen. It just means it's not just a coincidental kind of like, oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. It's like, right, yeah, that's no, it makes confirmation sense. of yeah. what I needed to know and, and what I'd be that, looking that's for. That's it as well. We asked for advice to do with work. And we got advice <laughs> to do <laughs> with work. <laughs> this is exactly what we wanted. Mm. And good advice. And advice that actually is is like... Helpful. You, you know what, that means something. Yeah. And that's right, that's true. I do do this. I do need to think about that. And mm. when you think about the, the advice you just gave us, and for example, how I jump into things too quickly or feel like I need to say yes <laughs> to everything... <laughs> I, and I think about where that's got me sometimes, it, it it makes sense. It's like, I do need to, I never thought about it. I just need to, instead of saying yes, Otherwise yes, yes. you'll become like me. Otherwise I'll become you. <laughs> <laughs> Every card will be no, yeah. no. <laughs> no, and, and this is actually what I want to do for my clients. Mm. I don't want to, you know, tell them what to do. You are adults. You can make yeah. your own decisions. Yeah. But I want to allow people with, I know I want to give them clarity yeah. and knowledge yeah. and facts yeah. to help them make their own choices. I'm not your mother. I'm not going to tell you what <laughs> right. to do, right? But I'm just giving you information. I'm like your I'm like a teacher in that sense. I tell you the facts. Whatever you're going to do with it is still up to yeah. you, 
but at least I've given you the facts to help you create a better life yeah. for yourself. Mm, yeah. Oh, I love that. that was so Thank cool. you so Thank much. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you. How close? How often do you Thank do this? You. Is it something you do all the time, like every day? Do you get a lot of people wanting this? Yes, I... And and I guess you get a lot of people coming yes. back to you as well. Yeah. Yes, I do. And um, that's the reason why I actually recently just released an annual package. Oh. oh. And that annual package doesn't just come with a tarot reading. It comes with a 30 minutes um, Reiki healing session. It comes nice. with a guided meditation. Nice. It comes with even a manifestation spell to help oh. you build that energy up. Amazing. Yeah. And, to do it, and to do it for you on a monthly basis. Yeah. So it can always guide you yeah. back. It can all you can always bring yourself back if you go off course, a which is bit. easily done, uh, especially now. Now and now, yeah. now everything's coming back together, and we're having to go back out to work and having to go back and see people and all this kind of stuff. Is uh, things really go off track, and you do forget, you know, where you are and, mm. and you know what you're supposed to be doing and what you're meant to be concentrating on. It's very easily done. Mm. That's so. I love that so mm. much. So tell us where we can find all your socials mm. and any links to yes. anything that you want to plug we'll put it in a pinned comment actually as well yeah. and in the description box yes yeah. okay i have a website it's still uh working i think it will be it, it will go live in another two weeks cool. or so but before that you can find me on instagram at friendly neighborhood witch sg and my website is actually www.friendlyneighborhoodwitch.com right here. we'll Marcus. put it right here right here <laughs> perfect <laughs> But do note, do note the spelling for the for neighborhood is the UK spelling. Okay, oh, it's not the US. Okay. Spelling. The correct spelling. G- <laughs> Very clear about that. The G- GH, yes, the right? Correct yeah. spelling. <laughs> yes. Okay, Singapore. In Singapore, we actually learn UK English. Oh, oh, I, I assumed everyone learned the rest American of the world English. Learns, yeah. learns like US. I swear. Singapore is UK <gasps> English, so we spell color as C O L O U R. You are. I, I find myself Singapore switching. Singapore learns UK. Yeah. I always switch between the two. Because I'm like, people need to understand me. Colour. Yeah. Moisturising with a Z. Yeah. Oh, is that different yeah, too? Yeah, moisturiser. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, a crazy place. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I just want to say as well, there's something very Thank welcoming you. and warm about you mm-hmm. and very immediately comfortable Thank about you. speaking to you. And I think that um, plays a big, big part in what you're doing as well. It, it makes you feel very comfortable and very Thank open and, yeah. and very willing to, you know, talk open to you. Up and open up as well. Up. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Really. A Thank pleasure. you. So we'll link all your socials below and all in the description box. And I'm sure we'll be seeing you very soon. Yeah. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Bye bye. How crazy fun. I have a headache. I'm not because of her, I just drank a lot of coffee and yeah. I have a headache now. Mm-hmm. But that was nice. This is like what we were saying before in the intro that it's it's never telling you when you're gonna die or mm-hmm. fall down some stairs. <laughs> it's always like um just like What's the word? Confirming and advising. Confirming and advising, and usually it's just telling you, confirming that you, you, what, you, you, uh, you, mm, do you ever. Valuable, <laughs> valuable opinions. <laughs> mm. Write those down, write those down. Oh, no, do you know I mean? yeah. It just kind of guides you in the right direction. <laughs> no, come on, professional. Don't hit me here. <laughs> So I make one of those wooden plaques out of it. <laughs> it, 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 it. <laughs> Next to your live, laugh, life, uh, and wine yeah. o'clock plaque. Christmas um, gifts. Christmas gifts, yes. Um, no, I absolutely love that. As we mm. mentioned, all of her information is going to be in a pinned comment. Yes. Um, I think, you know, whether you just want, you know, whether you be- believe in this or not, I think it's always great just to kind of get some form of guidance and sense yeah. of like, you know, this sounds like a sponsored video, I just really like <laughs> Sponsored by the future. The future, yeah. <laughs> and your past and present. Um, no, I think it's nice just to get some form of guidance yeah. in whatever form that may come in. Mm. This is our kind of preferred form of... Um, Therapy, I guess, in a way. Right. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, all the information that, and that's it for me. And you can follow me, um, <laughs> Robert Welsh, on YouTube, Robert W R S H on um, Instagram, and Robert Welsh anyway on TikTok. TikTok. And I know Marcus is going to put something <laughs> up there. <laughs> that isn't it. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, James Welsh, mm. you can find me. Just Google it. You'll find it. 
oh, just Google me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I came up with that famous quote. No, just because just cause you all know. Yeah, um, you know by now. If you're even watching up till now. Yeah, shall we? What? Oh! No, we do a goodbye then. Oh, this yeah. is the extended a Goodbye. Clip. Goodbye. Hi. Hi. This is the um, third, no, sec third ending is where we've done P.O. Box. Oh, yeah. it is. As you know, we have a P.O. Box. You can send us stuff. You absolutely don't have to. You don't have to. Don't spend money on us. Yeah. For, for heaven's sake, don't do that. No, please don't. But we have this package. Oh, wait, it's on the side there. No, it's on the... From Crown Candle. You don't need to cover our dress because it's for P.O. Box. Oh, it is. Mm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> crown candles. Crown candles. I love this little raven. Oh, we're saying crown. Crow candles. Crow candles. We, oh, and it's a crow, not a raven. We love candles. Candles. Um, the wax candles. melts. Wax candles. melts candles. Wax what else? in the shape of candles. The little cubes that you put in a wax melt Melt burner. machine. <laughs> machine. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, let me. Ooh. I've listened to your podcast when you're talking about a vapor rub candle, and guess what? I make it. It's called Breathe. It contains eucalyptus and cam camphor essential oils, and it's actually a bestseller of mine. Shut up. No Are way. Are you kidding? <gasps> Ooh. Oh my god, you can smell it already. Oh. I love the packaging. This is it. Wait. <laughs> 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 Oh. It. It's not like super, super like intense. It's real. No. Oh, oh, that's mm. amazing. Oh yes, yeah. And it's soy. Oh, oh I love the kind of wax that doesn't give you a headache. It's, I've been doing a lot of Pinteresting recently. <laughs> a bit of wax just came up there, <laughs> and I've been looking for these cans. Can I sniff that one? Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that smells like um, like clean clothes. Mm. Uh They say it usually comes in a in um. A normal, uh, a regular glass jar, but I thought the black aesthetic will suit you more. It does. Yes, thank, thank you. you. And her, um, and their personal favourite, feeling blissful, sea salt and wood sage, so cucumber one. aloe. <laughs> I love that smell. Ooh. Let's, mm. let's have a go. Let's have a go. Mm. Let, me, let me try a piece. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, that sounds luxurious. That sounds really good. This is like the smell when you walk into someone's house, it's like, they have fine china. Yeah, and you want to ask what the smell is, but you're too mm. scared. Because you're meant to be rich enough to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I do know. have that I smell. I do know what that is. <laughs> so you can get 10% off your next oh, order cute. using 10 crows, and that's www.etsy.com forward slash UK forward slash shop forward slash crow candles UK. Mm. Um, by the way, none of these are sponsored. We're oh, just, yeah, we just like to share. Yeah, shout out. Oh, Cru it's oh, amazing. Cruelty free and vegan. Soy wax, which is good because soy wax burns a lot slower. Is that mm. right? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I thought you told me that. No, I just said it doesn't give you. Uh, I discovered, right? I was burning like Yankee candles and stuff like that, and I was always getting headaches. And as soon as I switched to soy mm. wax, um, I wasn't getting headaches. Stop getting anymore. them. Mm? And we'll read this note over here on our own. We're going to do it on this over here. Yeah, by just ourselves. in that small corner. Thank you so much. These are so thing. cool. Thank you. Yeah, I love oh, these. Oh, I love them. Mm. I can't mm -hmm. wait to be sick so I can burn this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand cold. outside in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. And again, the link to our PO box will be in the description box down below. Along with our merch, our merch is um, in on the a, description on box. On a carousel. Yeah, all the money goes to charity. We don't know what mm. yet, though. Oh, yeah, we don't know one. No, we, we've done two charities mm. and we don't know what the next ones are. Mm. We'll think, we'll think we'll about think something. Mm. We'll think something. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks again. Bye. Bye.